Okay, I think we are about ready. Started just a few minutes late, only because the is some tech issues, of course. Because you know it wouldn't be a Scott Bot stream without tech issues. Everything's fine. Just it over. More like the uh, the screen itself wasn't really uh, like the video was basically frozen, so. The only way I really know how to fix it is to just reset my computer. So that was annoying. Hey, how you doing? Let's hang out for a bit. All right. We got this. All right. Last time on Battle Network Six, we got the uh, let's see, we beat, we got Count SP. We got the Count SP chip. And then, uh, we did the Virus Buster minigame, which meant grinding for more rare viruses. And then found out I was trapped for getting the Mega Chip door because I accepted the wrong request. So I couldn't fight Proto Man, so I had to... cheat. Yeah, I got locked out. So... I had to grab this so I could get the Proto Man chips. So I can actually continue the game. If you accept this one, which I did without realizing it, you need to... Uh, if you do this one, it requires you to get to Graveyard 2 to complete the mission. But you need to beat a certain amount of these missions. Or s very specific ones. So I just ended up getting trapped and I had to use the Chad patch card thing to get... Proto Man EX and SP just so that we can continue. It's annoying that this is even a factor. Uh, that's on me for not paying attention. Um, okay. Uh, one thing I want to check. I do not have a lock enemy. You know what? I want to get one. I want to get a single lock enemy because we're going to graveyard. We're going to graveyard area. Lock enemy. And while I'm at graveyard area, I might as well go ahead and uh, do a set of bug frag, uh, bug frag slash money grinding. Although one thing I'm realizing with uh, money grinding in graveyard. If I remember correctly, you get 3,000 zenny. It costs 7,000 to buy a lock enemy. So, not only... You need three... Uh, you would three need three zenny rewards just to break even slash make a little bit of profit back from a lock enemy. Unless you use green mystery data to try to get a thousand to try to make that money back. It's a little weird. Because before in Battle Network 5, when I was grinding for money in Undernet 1, two Zenny rewards... Uh, two Zenny rewards is enough to break even to buy another lock enemy. That's all you need. And it's just enough to break even, so that way you can just keep grinding. Then again, if on, along the way you get a reward like this, then maybe that's enough if you're just only getting getting lock, one lock enemy. I don't know. The point is, you're constantly going to be at a loss for money unless you grind for three of them, which means that's one less... Uh, that's a, another less bug frag reward that you probably want. I don't know. 
But anyway, I have 15 bug fragments. I had to buy poison seed. But we get to go to graveyard too. Which means I'm gonna have to make a trip to graveyard two with I think Dustman soon. So that way we can get whatever reward we could get in graveyard two. We'll we'll see what we need to do in graveyard two. Have to get through under net three again. Oh, I just realized my fan is still on. Silly me. Wanting uh, wanting to actually say cool. No, we can't have that. That's background noise. That's unprofessional. <clears throat> that was background noise that's drowning everything out. We can't have that. Ow. Ugh. Yeah, we we can't have that. I can, I'm not allowed to stay cool. It's the rule. Luckily, it's not as hot today. The last two streams were really, really bad in terms of heat. Mm, wrong code. But we got some extra zenny. If I could get popcorn, uh, corn bomber R, I'd rather have that. I also want risky honey. Another risky honey for you. Or two. Hang out here wouldn't be the worst idea for that, but... Okay, I think I'm supposed to go this way, up and around. I really don't like this area. <laughs> I'm glad this section got cut. Risky, honey. Double delete, that's something. Come on, risky honey. And it's the right code. That's exactly what I want. I want to get rid of that V one. And the only reason I threw this in was because it paired up with the V one, but maybe we can swap it out with something else. Let's, let's see if we can find another R code. What do we got? No, they're too weak. Mm, still might be too weak. Although 120 isn't the worst. Seals enemy and bubble. Uh, that has a use. Doll Thunder 3R for 180. Hmm. That might not be too bad, and it pierces. Hmm. Wide blade. Another double shot. Sandworm. Huh. I already have fire hits. Meteors! I don't know on that. There's been one air raid, one anti damage R. Hmm. Alright. Uh, let's actually throw in Dolphin Thunder 3 and see how that goes. Now, if I could just replace this with an R code, I'd be set. And I still have this in here. Actually, you know what? Uh, where is it? I gotta set up a new, another program in advance, so I want the opportunity. Let's see, where are you? It's breaker. Air hockeys. I gotta set these up. I don't know if these are going to be as powerful as... Well, it's not going to be as powerful as with Battle Network 4, that's for sure. But I don't know if it would be better than Parashell. But I gotta activate it anyway. Alright, Graveyard. If I run it into the virus in question, or the... The search eyes. I am not going to set up lock enemy because maybe I'll need it. At, at least I'm not going to set that up just yet. Tom the Hawk. Set up the boomerang. There we go. 
I'll get rid of you. Risky Honey 3M. I don't know if I had that chip at all, actually. Oh no, it's a virus. Okay. I think I want to go... I'm going to go Tomahawk. I would like to get rid of the aura, but that's not going to happen. So we're going that route. Alright, what did I get? Just some Zenny. I don't have Collect back up, so... Should we go up and this way? Yes. That's Chip Trader. Or chip Dealer, whatever. Can I run? Yeah. And then up this way? Oh, well, there's another route here. Okay. Oh, you know what? I better do this fight. I better do this one. We'll start with Double Beast. Let's see. Oh, they wouldn't attack the dragon. Because it was on my side of the field. That's dumb. At least I'm assuming that was the reason why they didn't attack. Okay. Ground? And this is why you play Falzar. So you can power up air hockeys. <laughs> Although it took a really long time to power it up. Um, yeah, I need to try. I need to try for this. Double beast. Ah, uh, targeted the wrong one. But it worked out. Kando, uh, Burn Square 2 or whatever. I don't know if that was new or not, but... Hey, we got it. Alright. You could hear a voice calling out from somewhere. Things that carry the mark of M. That's what I want. Graveyard 2. This is the section that's actually in the English GBA version. There was only one graveyard area, and it's here. It says, here lies Tomahawk Man. Here lies Tengu Man. Here lies we need Tomahawk Man for that. Here lies Dive Man. I guess we'll go... This? Sure. Not good. Alright, double beast it is. Why are there two Mega Mans? I'm not sure. I think we just summon a Mega Man from a another dimension. So here lies Proto Man. Here lies Dust Man. Here lies Ground Man. So we can use Tomahawk Man for this cloud. So we don't need Dust Man, uh, Dust Man for that. Okay. So come here with Tomahawk Man is a good idea. It's down here. Okay. 
I want to have Tengu. We'll do this. Maybe I should put the fire hit back on the shortcuts. Perfect. Dang it, I wish I had collected. Really, this was just for the map, huh? Alright. And look, there's another way out to Graveyard 1 again. Oh, and we need an unlocker. Luckily, I have two, so that's fine. That's not an issue. Okay. Alright. Ground it is. Let's power up this air hockey. And it looks like I at least get two. Circus Man. Okay, we need Aquaman for here and up there. And we can use an unlocker there. Luckily, I have two. Hear a voice coming out from somewhere. This door can only be opened by the mark of S. Dang it! Of course we're roadblocked. Alright, well, to continue, we need to get, like, 46 chips. But now that we can access Graveyard 2, we should be able to get everything now. So you know what that means. It's time to hunt for uh, hunt for chips. And because we need to hunt for chips... Wait, isn't... Remove all programs. That's what it is. Okay. Since I'm, get I'm gonna need Collect... I will need that. Okay. We'll start with this. Can I get... Float shoe, air shoes. Where is it? Can I get this back on? And then I think one custom one? I thought there was a way I was able to have both. Yeah. There's that. And this is plus three, so... And then it was, like, one more for each. We don't need these. So we could go, we could go charge, we could go speed, and then attack. There we go. All right, now we have collect back on. So we need to come back here with Aquaman, and we need to come back here with Tomahawk Man. Um, but I almost don't want to do two trips with Aquaman. Man. So how about we start with hanging out around here and see what I can get. Like these sandworms. I need these sandworms, I need other things. Okay. Tomahawk. Go with this. Where's that? Bubble Star 3. I don't know if that's new or not. At the very least, we need to come back with Tomahawk Man. We might save the trip with Aquaman for a little later. Okay, we need that. We need that. So... Uh, I don't have air hockey. So we'll go Tomahawk. 
and we'll go corn shot. Yes, yes. getting a chip anyway, no matter how you look at it. Downer. All right. Good. I even got the right code. So that's new. Again, I don't un I don't fully understand what the graves actually mean. You know, I, I, I don't get it. I never understood it. I mean, I get it. It's like referencing like the entire series. On one hand, that's, that's cool. But on the other hand, it's like, I can go talk to Aquaman. I can control him right now. Why does he have a grave? You know, like, I don't understand what this means in all reality. Oh, there's the rare variant. Okay. Uh, Tomahawk? And we'll you go ahead and use this. But we got the we got the virus. I'll take that. But if I am correct, I still need snake arm. Oh, I need ring log three. Wasn't that enemy here? Or maybe it's in area one. Let me take a quick flash bomb three. I think that's here. Wood, actually, the wood sword is needs to be bought. I, I, re, I remember where it's at. Seaside. Ooh, where is the third variant? Maybe it's here. There's a triple shot somewhere. Yeah, wave R3 is in the area one. Yeah, I need sand one three. The second variant was in the previous area, wasn't it? In square. Yeah, we're gonna be hanging out here for a little bit. Granted, can't get everything here, but we're gonna try to get what we can. Maybe I should put. The oh well. Needle, not the one I wanted. I wanted Aura Head. I could use a lock enemy on a virus if I really need to, but to be honest, I'd rather save it for going back and getting bug fragments. Assassin's Sword, that's a new chip. There we go. The grind never ends. Okay. Well, that's Big Hat 3. Tomahawk? I think we'll go this route. Double delete. We get Aura Head 3. That works out. That's a new chip. I don't actually need anything out of here. However, it would be a good idea to probably... Get 
getting the green mystery data, you know? Start with this. Go. That. Back and forth. There we go. Again? Okay, fine, whatever. Hey, five bug fragments. Gonna need more of those. Uh, to get every standard ship, we're gonna have to get like 80 bug fragments. Okay. Honestly, I'm not gonna power it up. Because I was hoping for that. Flash bomb three. Perfect. New chip. Alright, let me kind of take a glance. What else can be... can I get here? I forget if this is this area or the one before us. We buy that one. Varsar Neil Sword, or is one that I have to buy with bug fragments. I don't know where Triple Shot is. I just thought of something what we could do. We can do some, uh, we could mess around with Untrap. Wave Arm 3 is in the previous area. We need Sandworm 3, so we do need to hang out here. Still need, uh, still need it. Uncle Dragon, Elect Dragon. I don't even know if we saw the, seen the other one. Isn't the green one here as well, or is that the previous area? I remember seeing the green one. I'm gonna have to... I don't have Air Raid 2? Huh. I don't know what's here. And we need to fight that trumpet again. There's just a lot missing. Huh. Still need anti-navi. And Anubis is here, too. Which means if Anubis is here, it has to be one of the ones I can get I, I can get to right now. It's not going to be behind the door, so I will have to come back. All right, let's do this one. Um, what's the best route? Got a counter. Sandworm three. Perfect. All right. Let's go to the previous area. And let's... I need wave arm three. I want to find the, the battle for bug fragments. I need this one as well. So, Tomahawk. We do this. Ah! I thought I could time it, but no, I'm too. It was too slow. I got it anyway, and that's the third variant. Where's the second one? You know, it could, the second one could be an immortal area. Uh, there is the third variant. I had a feeling it was here. No double delete. Sandworm 2. Okay. I'm not gonna lock enemy there. I don't need this fight. Looks like an ad might be starting soon, but for right now, you're not missing anything at the moment. Although there's a green mystery data. Granted, um... 
I don't think this will give me a new chip. However, however, L, M, N. Program advance. Hey, hockey. Uh, it's back. 100 damage. Oh, I... Uh, that was dumb of me. I missed out on the green mystery data, but that's okay. We got pit hockey. There. That happened. Anyway, I'm still gonna be running around. We need wave arm three at the very least. And then I want to use my lock enemy for black fragments. Or money. Yeah, I don't need this fight. Um, I don't need this fight. I already have Big Hat 2 and Candle 2. I need Candle 3. Don't need this one either. I, oh, and I still need the Log 1, so we need to fight the Shrub again. So three viruses, well, three battles to look for. The trumpet, I already got this one, so we're good. And the ad's playing. Again, it's just random encounters. Not missing anything. Uh, here we go. Let's see if I get the chip. I think that's going to be a bigger factor. That was too slow. I got hit there. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was a 50-50. This. You know, if I had jungle equipped, it might actually. It, this might actually go faster. Well, I got a try. I think. Actually, two of these would not be enough. Let's try Circus Man. Enough. Oh, I got him anyway. Aqua Dragon. Pretty sure I have that. Bug Fragments? We'll keep that. You didn't miss anything. I found the shrub again, but I did not get the chip, so. Okay, let's see. Still nothing. Even if I went to Falzar to power up Circus Man, it still wouldn't have been enough. But I needed Tomahawk Man anyway. Oh! A rare variance. We go Tengu first. Do that. That could have been a different code, for all I know. Again, looking for wave arm. And I need to come back here. We can get three paps open with Tomahawk Man. Here we go! This is what I'm looking for. I don't care. So now... We get lock enemy, bug frags, and money. That's what we need. Gotta do the green mystery data hunt. We're gonna keep that. Again, the fact that locks, lock enemies are 
uh, 7,000. 7, We're not keeping this. And you only get 3,000 max? It kind of sucks that you would need three Green Mystery Data, in battle Green Mystery Data Zennies to eat, like, not only break even, but make a small profit. But I want bug fragments as well, so. That's the annoying part. Granted, I made a small profit when I was... Oh, we do need these tanks. That's right. That's right. I made a small profit from some of the other rewards. Oh, come on. That's the annoying part about this. The fact that it was a 50-50 shot, and he gave me the one I already have. And there were two. There were two tanks. And it's just like, nah, we're giving you the one you already have. That's the annoying part. Okay, so we need to fight the tank here. Wave arm three. Oh, I made a save. I just realized that. Oh, that was a waste. I just realized how much of a waste that was. Oh well. Habits die hard, I guess. Nope, we're not keeping that. Yeah, this is the Battle Network 6 experience. We need every standard chip. Every single one. But we couldn't get them all until we got to Graveyard 2. Okay, this is a fight I need. This is one I need. Let's go Tengu. And we'll go... Truth. One in three. One in three. Candle. Nope. Nope. Don't want that. Meteor stain. I'm, I know I'm gonna need a uh, chip location list. You know what? I think I need the Keto. I think I do. do I already have that chip? It's a code I don't really use. If it was a code that I would have preferred, that I might have kept it, but nah. Ooh, okay, here we go, here we go. I think I want... You know what, we'll, we'll, we'll just start with Tomahawk. We'll deal with the candle. Are you 
kidding. It's an R code, sure, but I don't... Don't use it. Alright. Zenny or Bug Fry? There we go, Bug Fragments. I feel like I should save up for the 80 and get the sword. Tomahawk? I think the sword chip is better to get right now than the Bug Death Thunder. That's an A code, which I don't use. But yeah, now that we have access to every area, I wonder if we should do some untrap runs and see what ships we can find in each area. Fragments. Yay. thinking about it. If one of those is Anubis, that means I can, if I get another Poison Seed and grab that Anubis, we can go and complete the quest. And if we can complete the quest, we can do some more of the side quests and maybe get whatever rewards they may give. Oh, two out of three ain't bad. I needed that for the program advance. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. Okay. Nope. Again, we're gonna stick around until lock enemy ends. Yeah, I still have lock enemy. Yeah, yeah, you know what, we, we'll still go Tomahawk. I'll get two of them out of here. There we go. Let's see how this goes. One. I don't know what I was expecting out of that. I just figured, hey, it's the rare variant. Let's give it a shot. See if I get a chip. Like the level 3 variant. Alright. Green mystery data. And we get Meteor. That's not what I need. Okay. We got two tanks. We got two tanks here. Double delete. Tank three. We're keeping that. New chip. It's all good. Now I need to figure out where the second tanks are. Okay. 
Zenny. We'll take it. Block enemy. I was gonna say it has to run out soon. We're okay. We're gonna head out. Let's go ahead and let's go buy a single lock enemy. No, you know what? If I'm gonna buy Poison Seed, let's hold off until I know for a fact I get into this, right? Let's go to Tomahawk Man. And let's go open some barriers. He's already close to the undernet. Sadly, it could be better. I mean, Dustman's in the better spot, but I need to be able to cut down a tree. And Dustman can get rid of... He can get rid of the cloud, and he... Dustman can get rid of... Oh, what was the other thing he could get rid of? It's not the tree. It's e actually, it's either the water or the fire, right? Because Ground Man takes out the tree, I believe. Actually, yeah, I think... I think he takes care of either the water tower or the fire. Hmm. Aquaman takes out both of them. Fight. Up here, up here. Right. Get through this area. The reason why I'm okay with leaving is because I know I'm gonna have to do more lock enemy attempts and I figure might as well just get at least a little bit more progress made at least in some form so here Graveyard 1. Again, there is a chance we could just get what I'm missing here. Wrong way. Well, there's a chance we'll run into, like, the shrub or something. And I get the chip. There's a chance. That's why I'm okay with, like, leaving at the moment. Time Bomb 2C. I don't know if that's a new code or not, but I'm gonna just keep it. I know I need to buy static, but I'm gonna hold off. Oh, okay, we need this fight. We need this fight. trying it again. Let's see. Brilliant. What? Oh. Wave arm three. That is what I need. 
New chip. See? This is what I was talking about. Let's grab this. We got a virus. And I don't need this fight. This way. Okay, let's finally get rid of this cloud. I could have done this earlier, but I knew I'm gonna I I needed Tomahawk Man for Area 2, so I figured I'd wait. Ooh. I'm not gonna use lock in. But let's see what we get. Zenny! Perfect. And blue mystery data. Time bomb 3L. I knew that was the one I was missing. All right. Let's chop down this tree. And we get charge plus one. Okay. this down. Ooh, okay, it's a compression code for something, I'm not sure. So, what this probably means is... Wait a second. I think that just means that this right here, this purple mystery data, that's Anubis. Which means we have to swap. We have to use Aquaman right now. Which means we're going to have to take two trips. The only way to not take two trips <laughs> with Aquaman, there's only one way to do that. We literally get every other chip right now. Nah, we'll just take. We'll just take the two trips. Because this way, I can start working on other side quests. <laughs> But yeah, if I really wanted to save a trip, I would just get every other chip and save uh, Anubis for later. But for now... Man, what sucks is because we have to use Aquaman, we're gonna have to do a big trek. Well, actually not as... Just gotta run over to Lance PC. So, I should look up who else can take care of the fire pillar. I forget if it's Dust Man or if it's Ground Man. But if it's either of those two, I think using either of them would be better because they are a little bit closer to Graveyard. Sword, I need another 40. Just making saves here. Man. Undernet. There we go. This should be Anubis because how else are you supposed to get it? Which means we can complete the side quest that I track my trapped myself on, and we could do more side quests, or we go standard chip hunting. Either way, either way you look at it, we have to just do some more of the grind. I already have big hats. I don't really need to do this.
But yeah, maybe I'll look up if it's Ground Man or Dust Man that's, uh, that could take down the Fire Pillar. And then using either of them would be a faster trip than using Aquaman again. I want to say it's Ground Man. And then... I should probably just look it up. Hold on, let me... What are they called? Element Gates? Actually, are they under? Actually, they might be under side quests on the site. Should train. Hold on. I got lost. It's Tengu Man, duh. Uses the fan to get rid of the fire. Okay. So, honestly, Tengu Man or Aquaman, it's around the same amount of time it would take. So, I don't think it really matters which one I use. Oh, Dustman gets rid of tornadoes. That's right. I, like, completely forgot about the tornadoes. Ground Man takes down trees and, and the geyser. Okay, so I could have come here with Ground Man instead of Aqua Man. But it's Tengu Man that would also get rid of the fire pillar. Okay. I don't know why. I just completely forgot about the, the tornadoes. get we get cover. not what I need I don't need this fight it's so nice being able to just run from everything I battle network 4 that was like impossible to do and Battle Network 5, I think, still had trouble, but I don't remember. I don't need this fight. See, I'm basically running from everything. Alright. There we go. There's Anubis. Now we can complete the side quest. Here, let me grab Anubis. I'm gonna need Poison Seed. Which I need to buy another one. Which I could do that right now. I know I have the money for which, once you buy one poison seed from the bug frag trader in Sky Area, you have to then chip order another one. Kind of annoying. Okay, hold on. Under electric pulse, one shot, whiskey honey. Go ahead. Luckily, I think this is a case where no matter which one you use, you get the same code. You get the same program advance. 
Ice seed. Poison seed. remember correctly, I need to go in... I think it was... last one, one. Oh, it looks like there's an ad playing. Uh... I'll get the program advanced ready. I think that would be the best. What did you do? And let's use the boomerang. Alright. Let's start getting rid of some chips. Two poison seeds and One poison seed. Let's have a little bit of fun here. I can't believe I haven't really used Guardian all that much in this game. Battle Network, man, Battle Network 5 just gave you Guardian really early. Too early. It was so fun. It was so fun to get Guardian that early. Okay, well, we got two out of three. Nope, still waiting. And the ad's done. And uh, still don't have it. There it is. Program Advance Poison Pharaoh. A staple. Yeah. While we're here, we might as well just grab another few program advances that I know I can do. Like not console. I already done I've already done yo-yo. Still need fire No, wait, which fire burns do I need to do? I know I need to do fire burn three, but I need one in three. Got it. F G H. I can put these in the shortcut. What did you want? A uh, gift folder. Huh. Okay. Huh? You figure out the PA? Show me the memo! What? Poison Pharaoh? Wow! The slot in order is Poison Seed, Poison Seed, then Anubis. Thank you! My research will go great now! Here's something for your trouble. Science manual. Poison Pharaoh, huh? I'll have to try it out. And you get a science memo for that, which... Let's see what it gives you. I think it's just a lot of code. Science memo. Or this? Or manual, maybe. Yep. Well, while we're here, we might as well just get some program fences done. GH. I'd burn one. Okay. And I know I need to do wide burn three. Which I 
can now do C, D, and E. Uh, I can only throw one. That's the regular chip. Alright. Might as well get some of these for them. Well, that's two. Two out of three. Gotta wait for one more. Right, let's get rid of these. Doesn't really matter, just get rid of one. Well, I can at least do this. And then... Do that. I don't really know how many more program advances I could do at the moment. Oh, wait. C, D, E. Program advance. Wide burn three. 400 damage. That's about the same as Flame Hook. And Flame Hook might be better. Alright. Let me kind of take a glance. I got all of these done. We got wide burns. I still I still haven't That's right. Yeah, I still haven't technically done Flame Hook 3. Let's see. The star. Oh, uh, Elect Pulse 1, 2, 3. I can't... Uh, all I can do is this. That's all I can really do. Dust? I might as well just get rid of 2. that, and we could just hang out here. Alright. Alright. Just gotta wait it. We're gonna have to get the program Vince's done at some point anyway. Well, that's two. There's two there. Come on. Man, I wish I had fast gauge. Still only one choice. Now let's get rid of Falzar. Falzar still might be the better Giga Chip for me right now. Even if it's not get Usually at least two feathers hit. Usually. So it's at the very least the same as Frost Divide. Here we go. Elect Pulse 1, 2, 3. Program Advance. Desert. What? Whatever. Another Pulse. Oh no, it has the same range. I can't hit anything in the back row with that. Why couldn't it have been something like Big Noise? You know? Alright, that was the Elect Pulses. Uh, let's see. Right, or ahead. One. And luckily we can set this all up.
Again, it does, I think with all that aura ahead, it doesn't really matter whether you use one, two, or three. Like Parachel or Corn Fiesta, it's gonna it's gonna get you to the same uh, spot or same program events anyway. Five hits at 150 damage each. I have a feeling if you were to try to use that against a boss, it would they get they would get invincibility frames after the first hit. That is my guess. I'm not sure. Did I pass? So there's Aura Head. We've already done Pit Hockey. Let's see. Sword, Aqua Swords, Sub Sword. I don't know if these do anything. Crack Shots, Double Shot, Reflector. We've already done Wave Arm. At least Wave Arm 1. Alright, well, here's Fire Hits. Okay, at least do. this. Not right now. Just kind of glancing through now, see if there's, like, something... Oh, I only have going at one. Okay. Oh, right. Time Bomb. We can do Time Bomb after this. And I think that's it. Because I don't have anti navy yet. Alright. We'll take care of Fire Hit, and then we got Time Bomb. And then I think we can move on for a little bit. We can get rid of a lot of chips right here. Let's go ahead and do that. Get rid of one. There's two. Uh, we can do this. Get rid of three. And still gotta wait for the other one. Gotta wait it out. All right. Oh nope, that's fire hit two. That's fire hit two. I think I already got rid of the two other W codes, so might as well give her a boomerang now. Two R's. Get rid of the two fire hits. Well, fire hit twos, I should specify. are, I guess. I'll just pick one. Oh, no. I could get rid of these two. Right. 
Man, this last fire hit is at the end of the pile, isn't it? There it is. A, B, and C. Program Advance Flint Hook 3. Remember, I actually used it against Count, but I didn't keep it, so that's why I had to use it again. Alright. Time Bomb 3, and then we'll move on. Advance Time Bomb Plus. 700 damage. There we go. That's done. Okay, we're done with Program Advances at the moment, I think. So let me put my... Let me put my stuff back together. I had... Prior threes. Two of them. And I had Dolph Thunder. Arc. Okay. Alright. Well, that's done. We got some program advances when we finish the side quest. So let's go ahead and. I guess we could just start another side quest, now that we're not trapped. Alright. Got a few more. That was the last level 2 variant, so let's just start the level 3s. This is the Net Police. If you have the guts to net battle, we need your help. If you're up to the task, come to the outskirts of Central Town. What do you mean by outskirts? Wait, you? You took my request. You're an elementary school student, right? Hmm. What did, why did you say, hmm? Well, my request can't be solved by someone like you. You shouldn't judge a book by its cover. I saved the world, like... Uh, technically this is before the end of, the, of this game, so like five or six times. Let me hear your request, please. All right. You can just hear it, okay? Today, a group of five evil navvies came here. They are the suspects of the virus scattering incident that took place six months ago in Central Area. So you like someone to track them down? Yeah, but you can't really do it, can you? Leave it to me. I may look a little, but I'm confident as a net battler. So today, I'm gonna stop those evil navvies. Okay, I'll let you handle it then. But if it gets too dangerous, don't overdo it. The suspects should be going between Central Area 1 and 3. Be careful. All right. Take a look in Central Area 1. And just go from here. We'll probably do an untrap run here soon and just go through all throughout the net and see what chips I can get. But for now, let's just continue. It's the side quests. 
and actually get Proto Man up SP unlocked. You know? Like how I was supposed to. Okay, so she said they go between one and three, so they it seems like they're hiding in the corners. Oh, I need to set up my shortcuts back. Uh, five hits. There we go. Look at you, all full of your sense of justice. Looking just like you, you'd hate someone. Looking like you'd just hate someone. There we go. Uh, ooh, wow. Okay, well, I gotta use Tengu. Actually, I could've used Aqua. Either way. We're gonna start with a Flame Hook. Yeah, I probably would've been better with Aqua. Oh well. You're stronger than you look. Alright, well... I don't know how many there are. Uh, no, she said there were five. So let's just check the dead ends, too. Here we go. What? Is there something on my face? Gross! Don't look at someone like that. Oh, okay. Um... Let's go Tomahawk. We already have... Flame hook, and I should be able to get both of our heads with this. Okay, I got one. There we go, we got it. Look, you did well. Let's see. Nothing over there. This just leads to the virus babbler. Yep, let's just head to area two. Okay, nothing. Don't need this. Up here. Yeah, I don't... I, I know I keep checking, but... I just don't remember all the time. Okay, one in the center. I don't see another one there. Oh, it's too bad I can't use air hockey. Uh, let's go ahead and do these two. Horn shot. Oh, it could spread in both directions. Okay. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize corn shot can actually go multiple directions if it if it works. Okay. I thought it was only one way and it would just be random. No. Alright. Uh, he was just screaming. He must be in a lot of pain. Let's go ahead and go Tomahawk. I guess. I don't really need to go Tomahawk, but oh well. Well. There we go. Done. He might be the only one here. Let's check down here very quick. Fight. Let me check down here. Okay, just green mystery data. It's fine. I guess we'll just move on to Central 3 now. Some extra setting, I guess. I'm correct, there are two here. Don't need this fight. Ah, oh, here's one. I can't stop spreading viruses! Hey, you! You're my virus's next victim! 
I can see why this would be a three-star mission, honestly. Because there are a lot of... There are a lot of enemies that are really high level. I can see why this would be a three-star. see why this would be a three star if you did this too early you might be too weak but then again it's a three star you have to be at end game anyway hmm, i don't know not up there there should be one more and there you are so frustrating hey you you're stressing me out yeah doesn't really matter, because I have Flame Hook, too. Oops. I overdid it. We did it! We got rid of the bad guy, so let's get back to the requester. Might as well just grab this green mystery data. This is Zenny, and let's head out. Hey, I took out the bad guys. Just heard from the net police. They arrested all the evil navvies. You really do have quite a bit of skill, huh? Sorry I underestimated your strength. You're you are no little kid. Here's your reward. Custom too. Okay. That's actually a pretty good reward. I think adults have to reconsider things. Thanks! You really helped. Alright, that was actually a pretty easy mission. Cause you could just save in front of the those navvies. I'm really in a bind. Can someone help me work it out? If you can, come to Central Town Lev Bus Station. Alright. Okay. Uh, I'm here. Where are you? Central Town. Oh, right. Yo, Lan! It's this time. The requester is me, Mr. Famous. A request from Mr. Famous? I'm so exciting! Alright, let's get down to business. The virus research lab in the Psylabs. Virus's sample ha Virus's sample has escaped. My investigation tells me that the viruses have gone to either Central Town or Seaside Town. These viruses naturally love the electronics. The number of high-tech machines in Cyber City is rising. Thus, it's a natural magnet for viruses. These terrible viruses are probably infecting comps now. If left out in the wild, it would be awful. So that's why they must be deleted immediately. I need someone who knows the area for the job. And you're it. There should only be five viruses out there. Can you handle it? Central Town and Seaside Town. It's our electronic comps. Got it. I'll give it a shot. So, it sounds like... We need to check stuff like... The toilet. That's what it sounds like to me. It's not on the map. Five places to check. This is where Sneak Run would actually be nice, but I'm not gonna... I don't think I'm gonna swap it in. No? Not? Okay, so it's a good thing the viruses are not in my toilet. You know, that that's a good sign. Let's check the Robo-Dog. Looks like the man's gonna start soon. Uh, here's one. Delete it fast. Leave it to me. Battle routine set. Execute. Uh, okay. We can go with Guardian. We can at least get rid of the Mets. That's that. Alright, an ad should be starting soon. 
I'm gonna go hunt for the next set of viruses. We shouldn't be missing anything. Just gotta check random comps, so I'll check the... Like, the monitor and stuff like that. Hey, look, we found one. That hasn't started yet. Pretty simple, honestly. Let's go. I'll go ground. And I'll throw my air hockey. Alright. That's good. Again, the ad hasn't played yet, so... Again, gotta go hunting. Now I think I'm at the point where I just have to check each of these. There's probably one more in Central, and then two in Seaside. That is my guess. I feel like I would've saw it already. I feel like I would have saw it already. I think I could just enter the uh, enter the comp and then leave. It seems that simple. Yeah, I feel like it would have been like right there. I'm thinking it's gonna be in the security camera. Security camera? Let's take a look. Huh. No, not the security camera. I mean, as far as I know, I haven't actually been fully looking around. Hmm. Not in 6-2 either. Well, there could be... Hmm. There might be three in Seaside. As far as I'm aware. Yeah, there, there could just be three in Seaside. Haven't found one yet. Is there a Jack and Port here? Yeah, there is. Ah, the teacher's room. Okay. Now a lot of Mets. A lot of Mets. I can at least get rid of two at the same time this way. Fire hit. Get out of here. Alright. We found three in Central. Robodog, Teachers, the Teachers Board, in the Lounge, and the Monitor. I'm guessing the other two are going to be in Seaside. So let's go ahead and check there. So there's the vending machine, there's the, the fish stick vendor, uh, there's, then there's the popcorn machine. That's what immediately comes to mind. Let's check here first. No, not, fi not the fish stick vendor. Vending machine? Water machine. Okay. Uh, we'll just go tomahawk. We'll use this. 
There we go, got all three. One more. One more left. I can only think of the popcorn machine. I think... Oh, well, yeah, it's probably the popcorn machine. I can't think of another spot. So let's go ahead and check. If it's not here, maybe there's four in central. There it is. Last one. Okay. Tomahawk. Might as well just go with uh, air hockey. You left. Perfect. To feed all the viruses, let's go back to Mr. Famous. Again, I can maybe see why this would be a three star. You're fighting really tough viruses, I guess. But it doesn't seem to require too much out of you, though. Really, just. As soon as you jack in to one of these comps, you immediately know if you found the, uh, the, the virus or not. It really doesn't take that much effort. Which is good. Which is very nice, honestly. Alright, Mr. Famous. I defeated all the viruses. Like you deleted all the viruses. You, tr you are truly amazing, man. Asking you to take care of this was a smart decision. Now for your reward. Fast Gauge Star. There it is. Even in Cyber City, your skill, your skill is truly amazing. I'm looking forward to seeing you grow in the future. Oh, that is nice. I, I need like another rag up just to put in my shortcuts if I wanted to. Granted, with the tag system, I almost don't know if I even want it. It's hard to tell if I even want to throw it in because my because how my folder works, but it's definitely something to consider. Alright. Let's go ahead and start the next quest. Alright. In order to preserve public order, we are collecting uh, certain data. We are thus looking for people to assist in data collection. If interested, please come to the Sky Town Ob Observe uh, Observer uh, Observe Comp. There we go. All right, Mr. Famous is not there yet. I think we need to like. Yes. Probably just need to enter a different room or something. Yeah, apparently when you do like some of those missions, the ones the ones with Mr. Famous, you can't use his shop until you're done with the side quest. Alright. Uh the observe room, that's just the monitor. So this would be a trip to get to. Right over here? Oh, no, right here. Got it confused with the lotto number. Oh, you must be the one who took my request. As a member of the official net battlers, I am in charge of maintaining order in this area. Behind me is an image data of, uh, from recent net criminal navvies. The officials are, in ch are charged with storing the data of navvies who caused these incidents as a means to prevent crime. This image data faithfully recreates a Navi's movements. If you battle against this image data, you can explore the Navi's weaknesses. We'd like you to take on the, the Navi's in this image data. Help us defend this area against further incidents. All of the bosses, huh? 
all the main story bosses anyway. All right, time to battle them all. Wow. And for one, it's the first variance. Oh, that is sad. You don't even get the boss music. That's how sad this is. Come on. There we go. Oh, this is pathetic. Well, all right, dive, man. Go. T actually, hold on. Yeah, we'll go dust. We'll use dull thunder, I guess, since I have it here. This is pathetic. It's the level one variants. Granted, the level one variants were the ones that actually attacked everything, so honestly, it makes sense. All right, circus man, ground. I guess we'll go try arrow. Why not? You're gonna be in the back row anyway. Attack once. Done. Easy. All right. Now for Judge Man. How, how is this a three star? Can someone explain to me why this is a three star mission? Grant, yeah, you're fighting boss fights, but you can't accept this till end game anyway. Which you've already fought these level one variants and defeated in the main plot. It's not even level two, like EX. No, it's just the level ones. Easy. No hit runs. And Element Man. All right. Last one. I guess it doesn't really matter which one I use. The ground, I guess. Use the air hockeys. Or the one I have. Can we get them in the middle? I want to get them in the middle. Alright, I got hit there, but that's fine. This was almost a no-hit run, but not on Elma, man. Oh, well, it's fine. Easy. We were able to record great data from your fight. Your cooperation will be a great help in preventing crimes. And now for your reward. Area grab, anti -na Area grab star, by the way. That's good. Anti-navi star, anti-recover star. Take, uh, take this data back and analyze it. Okay. Anti-recover star is whatever. And area grab star is actually really good. Anti-navi, though, is what I need. Because now we could do another program advance. So I'm going to throw in my folder. Uh, where is it? I go too far? No, okay. We need anti damage. And we need anti sword. I think the order is damage, sword, navy. I think that's the order. Well, that was easy. A little too easy. That's what I'm noticing about like these these particular uh, side quests from the patch cards. They were a little too simple. 
and I honestly question why some of them are the ranks they are, except for some of them are rewards. I thought they would be more about difficulty to complete, not necessarily the quality of the reward. However, like, I wonder if they're so simple because they are from the e-reader cards. I don't know. I'm famous! Mr. Famous! I need help with my research subject and experimentation. If you aren't a strong battler, you will be dangerous. If you feel you can help, come to the aquarium shark tank. Take this request. Yeah, you get two from Mr. Famous. Back to Seaside. Gotta run all the way, all the way through. I still kind of wish destroying all the copy bots kind of did something. Like, there's a net police guy you can talk to, and he's like, oh, we need someone to stop all these copy bots, and then he gives you a reward. Like, something. Like, give me something for doing all that. Hey, Lan, I'm the one behind this latest request. I mean, I kind of figured. Wow, I wonder what your request could be. You are Mr. Famous, after all. Actually, to train as a net policeman or junior official, I developed a handheld machine to release viruses. Right now, I'm making the final adjustments on it. I'd like to gather uh, some data by having you fight with this new virus battling machine. By the way, my machine can release 20 viruses in a row. And while battling, you can't stop. Are you ready? Try your luck. I'll make a save just in case. I don't know. 20 battles in a row. It shouldn't be too bad. Oh, wow. That's pretty sad. Just regular nets? Okay. This is not a good sign. At least in terms of... I should specify, it's not a good sign in terms of difficulty. These are all just level 1 variants so far. I mean, granted, it's only 2 out of 20 fights. And again, you can't do this until you beat the game, basically. Or at end game. Okay, there's a level 2 variant. It almost makes me wish it didn't have the e rear functionality. And just had these in the game. So I don't see the point. If they're going to be this simple. But that's also the other thing, now that I'm thinking about it. This, because they're e reader stuff, it's basically locking out good... Uh, chips and stuff through basically DLC. That's basically what they were doing. It's basically what Amiibo did before Amiibo, right? Because once you buy once you buy one of the cards, you know, you just get to do this over and over again every time you reset the game. Or Another way to look at it, you buy the cards once, and it works for both Gregor and Falzar, as long as you keep the cards. I just... Uh, I don't know. There's a reason the e-reader flopped. Wow, 
got hit once already. I am in such danger. Oh, I got hit again. I am shaking in the boots. I should grab uh, probably HP recovery when I get the chance. Uh, well, that HP recovery is not happening on this round, that's for sure. Flame Hook 2. But yeah, this game basically locked behind some good chips. Some good rewards behind a card you have to buy separately. As well as the e-reader itself. Which, to use the e-reader, you need another Game Boy Advance and a Wii cable. At least with Amiibos, you don't need to buy extra stuff. You know, you buy the Amiibo, it w the Wii U gamepad, the Switch controller, the, you know, just already had the, the tech to scale. Granted, the 3DS didn't have it. You need to buy a single thing for that. Not for the new 3DS, though. Go ahead and go. Oh, knock. There's no reason for me to set up anti damage. It's not going to do anything. There we go. Okay. number 15. Okay, now we're fighting tough viruses. We're fighting tougher stuff now. Let's go ahead and go double beast. Okay, that didn't even take... That didn't take out one of them. Oh, didn't charge up. There we go. There we go. Got it. Okay. Bound number uh, 16, Tengu. Then we have flame hooks. Let's get rid of the aura. So, triple delete. Bound number 17. Okay, I'm thinking we do the same thing. Tengu, then Flame Hook 2. Right, that didn't work on the candle, but that's okay. I didn't need it to work on the candle. I just wanted the wind to get rid of it. Okay. Oh, that's two out of three. Okay, I think I'll go Tomahawk, but I'll use Air Hockey. Not a good... Hey, at least the Earth Dragon actually uh, gave me Grass Tiles. He's helping me out. He's a good friend. He's a good friend, giving me Grass Tiles to heal up on. This one. All right, battle number 19. We'll go Tomahawk so that way I don't get, like, paralyzed. 
will set up Guardian. Come, Guardian. Invis. Punisher. Answer a two. There's that. Bow number 20. And luckily, I have Flame Hook. Double delete. All right, Mr. Famous, that was it. Well done, Lan. Awesome operating. I'll analyze all of your net battling data and use it to train lots of young, up-and-coming battlers. Thank you. Here's your reward. Circus Man, Judge Man, and Element Man Star. Because if you if you recall, the star codes for the other navvies. Like, every other one from Mega Chips, or the level 1 variants, were from Lotto Codes. Except for these three. Because they locked it behind... Uh... They, they locked these Star Chips behind the E-Reader cards. I don't think you were able to get these chips in English GBA. I think they were just permanently locked. No, no. Actually, now that I think about it, they might have added a shop to let you buy some of this stuff. Or something. Because it kind of sucks that a lot of the stuff is locked behind an e-reader card that never made it to this region. People call battlers like me soul battlers. I'm looking for those who believe in the soul battler cause. If you wish to come soul to soul with me, Come to green homepage. Last side quest. Last one. We'll just use Lance PC. It's faster. Alright. Green homepage. Let's go. You're the one who answered my smoking request. I'm the guy with a burning soul. I want to set this cold world on fire with my hot soul. Basically, soul to soul. That's my policy. To give everything the proper respect, those who follow this policy are called soul battlers. I'm looking for people who can see what we are doing. There's, there still aren't that many soul battlers. Would you like to get soul to soul with our group? Sure. Alright, so you share our purpose. You're a soul battle. Let's go spread the soul to soul message. Right now, the Net Mafia is having a top secret meeting. They must be making evil plans. Do you want to help me stop them? As far as their meeting place, the area around Greentown looks suspicious. So I am watching closely. Go check out the area. Good luck. He said Green Town, not the Net. He just, he said the area around Greentown, right? He doesn't... Right now, I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to the chip shop in Area 3 of Seaside, because I know there's that one chip I'm missing. He said the Net Mafia, though. But does he mean Green Area 1 and 2, or does he mean Green Town? I don't know. Alright. I'm gonna go here because I need Bamboo Sword. I don't need the Time Bomb anymore. Because if I want the program in advance, I would just use Time Bomb 3. So, Bamboo Sword. That's a new chip. That's kind of why I went over here. Alright, let's go ahead and head to Greentown, I guess. He specified Greentown. Even though he said Net Mafia. So let's just check the actual city of Greentown. Let's see, no one's over 
here. Nope, not you. Your sub chip dealer. Up here, let's see. Let's check the punishment room. Honestly, the punishment room wouldn't be the worst spot. I ah, know it actually kind of is the worst spot to meet up. No one in here in the courthouse. Sub chip. No, you were just a traitor. You know, I'm just now kind of realizing something about the end game of Battle Network 6. There's no one to talk to. There are no, like, actual NPCs to talk to anymore. Because everyone's, like, hiding from the copy bots. Okay, it seems like he meant, uh, the net. He specified Greentown, so I was confused. Uh, Ad is currently playing, but I'll just run around the net anyway. Okay, that was the humor program. That's Tengu Man's section. I mean, there's a green mystery here. I'll delete. Anti sword A. I mean, I don't need it. Over here? All I know is I just gotta check around Green Town. That's all I know. Well, check down here first, I guess. Yeah, I don't know where these guys are located. Nope, not there. data. That's the way back to Central 3. Don't need any of that. Let's grab the green. You know they might be at the tree in green 2. It's probably where they're at. But I better be thorough. this easier on myself. Do I have sneak run? Yeah, I do. There. That'll make this go a little bit faster. I was going to say not in green area one, but hold on. Green mystery data. 500 zenny. Not in green one. Could be... Well, it has to be green two. I'm thinking it's at the tree. Of course. I mean, what should I expect when I have sneak run? It has to be judge man. Repeat. So easy. One, two, attack. One, two, attack. Two books. One, two, attack. One, two, attack. 
Like, couldn't Judgment, like, have another attack? At least Dive Man. Like, just hiding under... Like, hiding in the ground, you know? You have to wait for him and then dodge his missiles periodically. Apparently, that was a faster time. I'll take it. Green mystery data. I mean, look, I'll take the faster time, but still... Judgment... I... Judgment is kind of pathetic. Honestly, Judgment, like, needs, like, a rework. In terms of, like, boss difficulty. I don't think you... Yeah, there is anything there. I figured. Nothing there. Nothing up there. Again, I think they're at the tree. Nothing down there. Nothing over here. Green mystery data. 600 zenny. Up here. Alright. I don't... What? Where are they? It's... Is it an undernet zero? Because... They use this as the meeting spot? Just... If I don't find them, I'm kind of confused. Okay, I'm confused. I... Th I think I'm gonna look this one up. Because... I don't know where else I'm supposed to look. I'm confused. Quest BBS. Soul Bower. Um, um let me just let me type this in. I don't I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Soul Battler, but like. Uh, what am I doing wrong? I'm guessing this list. Yeah, this doesn't. Oh no, this does have, have Road ro to Soul Battler. Let me look. The official in green. He sends you to find some net mafia goons hide some hiding somewhere in Green Town. Okay, I was looking at it the wrong way. Not on the net itself. Okay. What's with you? We're the Net Mafia. Hmm. What's our plan against Green Area Expose? Oh well. I guess we'll start earlier than planned. Yeah! Okay, I got a little confused there. Anyway, uh. 
We have Guardian. Come Guardian. And one hit. Triple delete. Uh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna have to do like seven fights. This is gonna be a bit. This is gonna take a bit. Just make a buster. Oh, there we go. He's already weak as it is. Alright, next fight. A lot of big hats. Tengu, just in case. I right, don't get rid of the big hats. There we go. Let's go ahead and start with Tengu. Might as well just go ahead and throw a uh copy. Alright, I got blinded and stunned. That's fine, but at least I got rid of the glasses. So that worked out. I should have just started with getting glasses. Oh wow, something Tengu can just deal with. Honestly, I mostly just use Tengu just to use, like, get rid of auras and use the wind ability. Using the actual charge shot is kind of hard to use sometimes. You almost need the, the area down. up the whole net mafia. Let's go tell that soul battler is Navi. And just a set of seven fights. Not bad. Alright, let's go talk to him. Alright, you know what? Before we do that, let me get... Let me go ahead and get Collect back up. There we go. Got it back. Good. Alright. Ah, oh, you did it! Thanks to you, we've uncovered the Net Mafia's evil plot. Amazing! Someone with this kind of talent. Says the legendary soul battler Takeshi. 
You are an amazing soul battler. Let me give you this. Soul emblem. We are all linked by our souls. That is what they say, soul to soul. You'll never forget a burning soul. And we are now master rank. It's not a fun. I hear there is someone who finished every request. I should have known that someone is you. By completing all those requests, your powers are now more than even an official. I've got something I want to show you. Proto Man's true form. We're waiting in Cyber Academy 6 1. Proto Man's true form. Alright, let's make the most of this challenge. Uh, okay, so first, let's take a look at this soul emblem. Probably right here. Inscribed with a lotto number. Okay, so now that we've done this, we can actually officially fight Proto Man SP. I know he said go to 6 1, but I want to check. I want to go ahead and check this very quick. Okay, he's still here. He kind of teleports between spots, I guess. And here we got Proto Man SP. Here we go. So, let's give this an actual try. Oh, whoa! He's actually using a shield. Okay, this is interesting. Hard. Hmm. It's not just that he hits harder and he's faster, he actually has a new strategy to it. Granted, because I... No, I better actually give it a try. I better actually uh, treat this seriously. Okay. What is the best route? Definitely not Tengu. I would die immediately. Dust is too slow. Ground would only hit once. Honestly, it's either Aqua or Tomahawk you'd want to go with. If I remember correctly, he's too fast. His inv invincibility frame. He blocked. He blocked flame hook. Oh my god! I forgot how how strong Proto Man is. And this is just his SP. If I go Aqua instead. Come on. Honestly, his shield might actually be harming him. Shield might actually be a problem for him. Okay. Boomerang. Whatever. Ah, uh, dang, I got hit. He 
He just went for yeah, he he just went for the triple attack, so or the long wide. Falzar. That was five. One more. Okay. Well, I got a better time, and I officially got the EX version. So the reason why I say, I think, if, okay, if you recall when I fought him the first time, you know, his regular base version, when you go Aqua Soul, he has too much invincibility frames to just, he'll attack you again, you fire, but he's still invincible. Now he has a different issue, which, oh, I didn't even realize when that was up. Okay. I, I didn't even real. There, he now has a different issue, which benefits me. And right now, I'm just getting those chips. No. Uh, I was gonna reset, but. Yeah, this is not going well. This should work. Yeah. But because he uses the shield, it stalls him. Giving just enough time for, uh, just enough time for me to get my charge up. But obviously, I can't win this way. That won't work. But then he does something like that. Okay. I think he moves twice and then attacks. I could just constantly hit him. Wait. No. Tengu's attack char shot is too long. Go Aqua. Let me try. One. I feel like I'm getting the right idea. Service man. Ah. Uh. His shields are actually messing things up. Because normally he would move three. There is something else going on. Okay. Let's 
So in that case, I feel like I just got a bad set of chips. Actually, thinking about it, Aquaman would still be better. I was thinking Tengu, just in case his charge shot is better, but sometimes when he does the White Sword, he'll attack from behind. Yeah, Aqua, Aqua's better. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Let me see. Then you shield. Why? Okay. I'll go guardian, I guess. that I could distract him with shields. No. Again, he has a pattern. But I just don't know what it is. Getting the flame hook combo with grass, that's part of the problem. Okay. I can't believe Aqua is so far my best shot here. Be okay. We might be okay. We might be okay. <laughs> ah, dang it. Something with the timing went off. Not sure what. the timing messed up, but it did. Ugh. This ain't good. I'm not getting it. Too slow. 
I feel like if I were to win this fight, if I want to win this fight, I have to maybe win this fight. But, so far, the best option for me is to go Aqua Solo. Honestly, I feel like if I actually want the SP chip legitimately, I would actually have to just get a little bit lucky on my folder. Maybe we'll attempt it legitimately later, since I basically cheated. I don't know. But let's go ahead and see what he wants at, you know, at the class. So we want 6-1. He's just following us on the bus. Be like, oh, why does it have to be here specifically, Chad? Fight me. Okay. Proto Man FZ. If, if SP was hard enough, or wasn't hard enough. I just time it right? And because we beat him, we get nothing. Proved it. Your strength, that is. I think it's a hard fight for the sake of having a hard fight. A true final battle between rivals sort of fight. It seems like you get nothing for it, or maybe I just need to do better. I don't know. Anyway. Um, 
Okay, we might we might give Proto Man an, an actual shot later. For now, we need to get standard chests. We need standard chips. We also need to go and well, we don't need to, but we could do an un we could do an untrap run. Let's do an untrap run. And if I'm doing untrap one run, we're gonna go sneak run. Time to do a full untrap run and see what chips we get from each area. Granted, there may not be any use for untrap for these first couple areas, but we might as well check. I mean, we have sneak run anyway. Because who knows, maybe we'll get a chip that's actually useful. Where's the other one? There's two green mystery datas. No? No? Where the? Where's the other green mystery data? There's two. There's always two. Huh. No, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna triple check over here. There's only one here, I guess. Again, I I don't think there's any virus in a chest in central area, but we're gonna check. Down over here. Mini bomb. Nothing here. We might as well go. Eh, we don't need to go underground just yet. Let's go seaside. And we'll loop back around to central eventually. Where's the green? Doesn't seem like it's in the underside. There it is. 800 zenny. Yeah. Oh, I still need to use the rush food there. Five hundred zenny. Again, it's probably not until like green or sky area when I need to actually uh, fight random mystery data. Whatever. You know what I mean. I lucked out on my timing there. There, I got rid of that guy. And we use this rush food because why not? It is a shortcut. So that helps. green mystery data? No. Uh, it wasn't a uh, virus. Okay, still nothing. Where are you? There it is. Fire hit one. Again, no, no virus in the chest. Somewhere up here. Honestly, it feels like this square is pointless. Like, it doesn't seem to actually do anything. Okay, I timed something wrong. Where's the other green mystery data? Over here? Nope. Probably at the water fountain. 
again, you think this square was used for something, but it isn't. Okay, there's the green. Just some zenny. Okay. Off to green area. It will be faster if I just take the shortcut. Faster if I just take the homepage shortcut back to Lance PC and then take the shortcut to green. Yeah, it's faster to do this. Okay. Don't need to fully check around here just yet. Go up here, we grab this green, high cannon, still no virus in the chest. Okay, let's check, full, uh, thoroughly check green area too. Again, the untraps might not be useful until maybe sky area. Zenny. I don't think there's green mystery data in Undernet Zero, or at least this section of Undernet Zero, so I'm not going to bother going there. There it is. A single bug fragment. Again, untrap not needed. Right, back to green area one. And we'll just head to central. Through the, the actual pathway. The intended pathway. There's one more green here somewhere. And it is not there. There it is, it's up there. This is going a lot faster with Sneak Run. After we do an Untrap Run, just to kind of see what chips I get, uh, then we'll start working on standard chips. All right, there's still another green mystery data here in Central 3. I'm missing. There it is. Oh, let's check ACDC. Let's do that first. I forgot about ACDC. Yeah, this is right. I forgot about ACDC area. There's like no reason to go here, honestly. Like, it's pretty isolated and there's no navvies here to hunt for. Other than like a few shops, obviously, but... I don't know, I just think this section is a little bit disappointing. That there's like nothing here. We have like very little reason to come here. Nope, not there. Again, I bought everything, right? Yeah. Okay, three mystery data. There's the untrap. Golem hit 1k. While the chip... It doesn't add to the folder. It is a new code. So that was worth it. And there's the other green. Again, not a new chip altogether, but a new code. And I'm okay with that. We got some zany. Alright, All right, time to head back. Let's go to underground area and immortal area. And then we'll go to sky and undernet and all that. Sadly, it basically means that once I go through this section, I have to like backtrack. The other option is to just leave and then save the trip and use another untrap. Or save the time, whatever. Okay. 
two green mystery data that are here somewhere. It seems like it's kind of pointless to untrap in central central uh, seaside and green for sure. Okay, there's one green mystery data. We got some Zenny. Look, if ACDC had a virus in the chest, then definitely underground does. Where's the other one? There it is. Okay, I think I got a little unlucky in Underground 1. Weirdly, I would say this is unlucky. So I'll keep Underground 1 in mind. We might double check this area. Underground 2. Okay, let's see if we can find the two greens without finding Colonel. There's one. Hey, look, it's probably Colonel. Hi, Colonel. Let's see if I remember his pattern already. Let's see if I forgot about it. I'll go ground, I guess. No, 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 we'll go dust. Because why not? Okay, what do we got? We'll use these. Wait. Get rid of my heal. Yeah. Do this. Okay. Well, here's the win. Well, actually, no, it's not the win because there's no grass tiles. Ah, uh, he did the Zontensuke, except it didn't actually uh, took me out, so it's not a full Zontensuke. And that was his cape move. There we go. I didn't win. All right, well, that was something. 2000 Zenny. Again, no virus in the box. Still looking for the other one. There it is. Still. Looks like I'm going to need to double check both underground areas. Alright. Immortal area. There's one. Untrap. High Boomerang L. which I already have. Maybe that's hard to get without using Untrap here. Like you're only normally able to get one or something. I don't know. Not that way. Uh, up here? It's probably not gonna be another Untrap. However, I wanna check. Because if it's... Sorry. If it ends up being Air Spinner 3, I want to add that to my folder. There it is. Zenny. I mean, I'll keep it. I will need to check. Again. All right. 
One, two, three, meteor. The electric. Two, three. Meteor. Oh, and I messed this up. Dang it. That's it. I'm okay with that, honestly. I didn't really want to fight him. I have nothing to prove. Oh! Hold on. You know what? I'll show... I saw the Proto Man symbol. I think you have to beat Proto Man FZ for that. That's what it's actually for. I'll show that off next time I go to the title screen. I just kind of briefly saw it. I'll make a save just in case. And here I wanted Air Spinner 3. Alright. It's time to head out. This way. So, I think I need to take another trip through Underground. Because neither of them were viruses. We'll do that next. We'll do another trip. Now it's check sky area. Let's go the normal route. It's this way. Nothing. Okay, that's the normal way. If I go up this way, what do I get? Nothing. Where's the where's the green? one. Double shot R, but that's not a virus. It's Tomahawks. You see the green mystery data. Up here? Where's the, where's the second green mystery data? Oh, okay. 300 Zenny. Seems like I need to double check sky area as well. Um, one. Up there. Okay. At least we don't need to double check ACDC, that's for sure. Hockey up. Sky area may or may not have a virus. I am not sure. But for sure, we need to check double check underground. We're at Undernet 1. Here's one of them. Zenny. We're gonna go to Undernet 0. This is the right way. Alright. One of the exits to Undernet Zero. I know we found the gold mystery data once, but I wonder what actually causes it to spawn. Or is it just very rare? And you just have to be very lucky. Okay, I found one of the green mystery data, but the other one might be on the other side. Right? I found... I don't know. I don't know. Alright. There. Let's check the statues. I head in that direction. Here's, one, here's the other one. 900. Seriously! Under. I did not find one in Undernet. Or at least in Undernet 1. Here, the, I, I was gonna do an untrap run, and so far I'm not really getting all that lucky. Right, Undernet 2. I better check the lower area anyway. 
I need to head to Underdent Zero on that path anyway. Green Mystery Day. There's one. What? Again, no. Untrapped and activate. While I'm here, I might as well check the bug frag trader, because I don't know what I'm missing. Reflect, HP plus 400 and Giga Folder 1. Sadly, I'm not going to buy any of those, at least not right now. Well, here's the other green. Sadie, how am I not finding anything? Then it's zero, green, zenny. I forget, did I already find the other green mystery data or did I just... No, nothing's here, there's no navvies here. So it's not like I'm... Jeez. I... And here I was, I was gonna do an untrapped run but I'm not finding any viruses in chests. I, I probably did find the green mystery data on the other side. All right. Under net three it is. So basically, I kind of need to do an untrapped run in everywhere again, except for ACDC area. Is that lucky or unlucky? I would think it's unlucky because my intention is to actually utilize untrapped. But no. Hey, look, a gold. Let's go grab that. Just when I was talking about gold mystery data. We get Blizzard Ball. Okay. That's a code I don't have. I don't know if that's the one you can buy in Graveyard. We could check when I head over there. I don't see another green on this side. I think maybe the gold mystery data takes place over a green. So there might only be one more green mystery data. Let's look around here. Nope. Okay. Where, oh where? There's the green. I'm gonna assume the gold took over one of the greens. Untrap activated. Mine T. Did not have that code at all. That might have just been, yeah, I think that was a new chip in general. Because I think Mine was a bug frag trader one. So if you want the T variant, I think you get it there. At least I don't need to double check under net three, that's for sure. Graveyard one. I'll check the shop long here. Untrap activated. Snake M. Well, I already had Snake, but it looks like it's a different code, so you can utilize that. Looks like Ad's going to start soon. Hopefully you're not going to be missing anything for a little bit. But, Net Merchant, still need to buy Static, which I think I will do. Yeah, look, Blizzard Ball T. This is a different Blizzard Ball. So the gold mystery data that was in uh, Undernet 3 was a different code. Alright. I'll buy static. New chip. Alright. I'm gonna run to Graveyard 2. And here's the other green, but I already know... Okay, yeah, it's Zenny. We'll keep it. I already knew it wasn't going to be a virus. Well, Maybe yeah, there could probably be two virus in the chest. Alright. 
We may only find one green mystery data. We may find two. I'm not sure. Green Mr. Dita in Area 2. I think I might have gotten unlucky there. Okay. Uh, let... I know an ad's going to play soon. Let me start looking things up. I know we're going to need to do another run. so long to love. I don't... There we go. Come on. We need a level 2 variance. Tank enemy says it's in the Pavilion Comp 3. I think that's the Mr. Weather one. Okay. Yeah, this is the right one. That's me Zenny, but I'm looking for the tank enemy. And here's the fighter plane, too. Good, good, good. I don't think there's actually anything to bring this up. Let's just attack. Double delete. That's fighter plane, too. Didn't even come here for them. That worked out. Actually, I should do this fight. Now that I think about it. Only because uh, I should probably take down more of these vacuum ones. Okay, let's do that. Not that I needed the chip. That's not why. Because if I still want the rare virus, I should actually fight more of them when I get the chance. Mm, no one know. I know it's a green mystery data, but it's not a good setup. Come on, looking for tanks. Oh. 
Man, the game just really wants to give me this green mystery data, doesn't it? Or give me the chance. Nope. Not what I'm looking for. Looking for tanks. Said Pavilion Comp 3. I am in the right spot. The tank is here somewhere. There we go. That's what I need. Triple delete. And there's the level 2 tank. What's next? That's in Graveyard 1. So we can hold off on that for a second. Eighty two is the bug fracture, right? Neovari bug fracturator, yep. Although, supposedly, I could get it in yellow mystery data, in underground or underneath too. Hmm. Two ways of getting it. 90. Okay. So, I'm reading. There's a few options. Guide Paddle Comp Blue Mystery Data. Undernet 2 Green Mystery Data. Or Seaside Area 3 Green Mystery Data. Why do I feel like this is wrong? Huh. Guide Paddle Comp Blue Mystery Data. Not green. Blue. I thought I... Referring to this? No, that's mascot. What's guide panel? of, like, the viruses here, but I don't see a, uh... Hmm. I, I don't see the location. That's part of the problem. But because most of the viruses in, gu in uh, Guide Panel is the, the ones that can only get hit by a sword, must be a late area. Did I ever go in here? No, I have never went in here because plot happened when you went in here. Okay, this is new. I will explain the copybot structure at this panel. If you got a copybot question, I've got an answer. I never went in here. I don't think I need to defeat these guys, but might as well. These are the level 1 variants. Okay. Blue mystery data. Triple shot star. Granted, it could be green mystery data in Seaside 3 and Undernet 2, so I just got very unlucky in those cases. I think I'm good. 
nightmares. It's just nightmares and metars in this area. Okay. Let's see. All right. Okay. I'm definitely gonna need to figure out where this enemy is. 101. We are looking for. Where are you located? Okay, I think that's also a spot that I never actually checked. Actually, it might... I don't know which way is faster. Maybe this way. Yeah, thinking about it, this might be... This might also be a spot I might not have checked. Because I think plot reasons I didn't actually check, but I could be wrong. Well, we're heading there anyway. The principal's PC. Alright. Nope, I wasn't here. HP plus 400. This is the principal's office comp. The head of this office is none other than the Mayor Kane. What? Mayor Kane has been arrested? <laughs> Don't kid with me. Cat. Well, there's one of... There's the enemy. I need Tomahawk, though. Don't know what the best route is. I want to get rid of Big Hat. And I didn't get rid of Big Hat. Let's see, do I get... Yes, I do! I got it. And there's another blue mystery data. HP memory! Alright. Definitely need to keep that. Alright, I want... To go... 104. 104. Uh, that one's number ball. That one's number ball. I basically have to buy it. Apparently, if there's a yellow mystery data in Sky Area, you could get it there. I should actually look up a list of gold mystery data. Okay. 110. The question is, where is the virus? Graveyard 2. I remember the virus being there. But it was, like, pretty rare. Alright. 123. Heat Dragon. Which you can get from Earth Dragons. Or, hmm. Okay, um, since we need to fight Earth Dragons, there's two, not here, there's two locations, and one has a higher chance. You could go to Immortal Area, but they are a 7.8% spawn rate, or... We go over here to Pavilion Comp 4, where it's a 29% chance to spawn. Twenty-nine percent chance to spawn. Let's just hang out around here. Yeah, that's something. Dragon. 
Okay. Uh, but I still need Wood Dragon. And they are in Graveyard 2. So, we're going to be hanging out there for a little bit. I know I have to head back to the graveyard. Let's just get the thing on first. Golem? How did I get Golem Hit 2 when- Oh, it might be in one of the extra folders I got. Okay. Well, which uh, area is this virus located? This one's in Undernet 3 or Pavilion Comp 2, but you have a better chance in Undernet 3. The one I need here is in Graveyard 2. I had a feeling. Because I remember seeing it. 134. Oh, wait. Here's spin 3. Trader only for N. Lotto number for O. For T. Immortal area blue mystery data or the chip order system. Oh, no wonder I wasn't finding it. Okay. I see. I basically just need to buy another one. I see. Okay. Really? I never got this one. I never got wind. Interesting. Well, I'm reading ACDZ Town, Green Town, Sky Town, Asterland. We'll check one of them. Oh, these are the kettle enemies. Okay. Looks like Asterland is where the first one's at. Well, I'm going there for two chips. I did. I thought I would have had Fan by now. That's weird. That was very weird. Okay, off to Asterland. We need to go. Where's the jack and spawn? Or do, do I? I don't buy it, do I? Although I do need this. I do need that. I do need full cuss. I do need number ball. It's like, let's get full cuss right now. What do you mean? Land. Oh, that's just a... No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. That's just a... where you could buy it. Where's the enemy? Okay. Uh... Underground 2? Really? Graveyard 1... Vending Machine Kong. Wait. Vending Machine Kong. That's Kettle DX. What's this one for? Well, it's, apparently you can... Oh, is that the... That's not the rare variant, is it? Though? Well, we're talking Underground 2. Graveyard... Vending machine call. Let's go to vending machine. Okay. Apparently, Kettle DX is in vending machine. But for the others, we need to go to underground two. Oh, that's Water Machine. Wait, is Water Machine and Vending Machine different? One second. Uh, area Guide. 
So here, yeah, there are they are different. Oh, duh, vending machine where dust man is. Wait, if it's in the dust man section, let me check. Let me check. If it is, we might be better off not using dust man and get there from under neck too. Yeah, okay, it is the spot. Okay, we'll come back there later. Okay, so... I need to look up where Fan is. Fan, fan, fan. Or Windbox. I, I saw the Aster Lamp and be like, no, that's where you buy it. Or where you can buy it. Air Conditioner, Mr. Weather 2, Mr. Weather 1, Labs Comp. Okay, we're going to Air Conditioner. This was Graveyard 2. In 78. That's Bug Fix. Okay. Apparently I missed a purple mystery data. Which, okay, now I'm looking at it. There's, okay, so you could get K from the chip order. You get the Z code from the chip trader, which means that's just RNG. But the purple mystery data one we're gonna get. But then there's the star code. Let's go ahead and grab the purple mystery data first. And then we'll go find the wind box. Oxygen tank, yeah. It's funny as I was just here. There it is. Bug fix. So apparently, there's a star code variant. And to get the star code variant, you need to go in here. Yeah, it grants you a bug fix star. It was a patch card. That's the only way to get it. Might as well, right? I, I got the purple mystery data one, you know? I already got the one for purple mystery data. That's good enough. Wind box is here somewhere. We're gonna hang out here for a little bit. No, not this fight, that's for sure. Okay, most of the other ships are gonna be in, like, graveyard. Most of them, anyway. Still need to buy Number Ball. Just kind of run around until we find... No, I'm only getting fighter planes, so I'm getting a little unlucky. Come on. I, I read that it's here. Oh, wait, no, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh. I'm done. Not the fan comp, the air conditioner comp. There's a difference. Honestly, I don't understand why it's here instead of the fan. It feels like it makes way more sense. If it was in the other one. Here it is. Nope, 
that is not the right ship. Keep going. Besides, I need to take out more fans anyway if I want the rare virus. Not this fight. Come on. There we go. Flame hook to. Wait, what we get? I think I understand why I didn't get fan or wind. I, I think I understand. Well, there's wind box too, that's something. I should have waited. Hey Guru Gamesh, how's it going? It's been a while. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to fill out the standard chips, and apparently I was missing wind for this entire time. One of the most common chips, and I was missing that the entire time. Okay, so... Let's see... Graveyard, graveyard, graveyard... This is gonna take a bit. Hey, yeah, what's been going on, Garugamesh? What's been going on? Graveyard. Okay, let me look up 185. 185. ACDC area green mystery data. That's the only way to get it. Okay. Uh, not... Not much going on. Um, let's see. We got all the Mega Chips, although I messed up with the whole Proto Man scenario, and I trapped myself. So I had the only way to the only way for me to actually get to Graveyard Two was for me to basically use the Ash card because I put myself in a trap. So yeah, that was fun. But I got all the other you know, Mega Chips legitimately. Still haven't actually officially gotten the SP chip legitimately. I tried. The fight's hard. Probably give it another go later. Yeah. Uh, you can soft lock yourself in this version. Well, soft lock, quote unquote. You have ways out of it. Looking for green mystery data. So, essentially, when this game launched, there were two ways to soft, soft lock yourself. The whole Django uh, scenario with the, with the battle, the virus battle rewards, that was a way of soft locking. Although, as of now, they have patched that, so that's not an issue. But apparently, uh, this is something where you can soft lock yourself without necessarily knowing that you soft lock yourself. Is it in Battle Green Mystery Data? That's Time Bomb 2. Hold on. It just says Green Mystery Data. So, okay. Again, there were two soft locks, and it was specifically Legacy Collection, okay? The first one was to get Django 3, you have to do the Virus Battler minigame. Once you win the fifth round, that's how you get Django 3. However, because if you remember, the original GBA English version took some stuff out, like the Boktai stuff and some other areas, it rearranged some things. Yeah, the they took out the crossover stuff in the English version. So, when it comes to the Legacy Collection, they basically copy and pasted the... They basically copy and pasted all the information, but because of that, the reward from Virus Battler was Super Vulcan. So, but, to get to Graveyard 2 in this version, you need all Mega Chips. And Django 3 is one of those Mega Chips. Well, gotta check here again. 
so the way if you locked yourself here there were two ways of getting Django 3 at launch at launch uh, you could save right before the virus battler minigame the fifth one and then swap to the Japanese version because the whatever version you uh, play you still keep your save so all you needed to do was swap to the Japanese version, do the fifth battle, and then get Django 3. If you couldn't have done that, then you have to folder compare. Now it looks like an ad is playing at the moment. Let me... I need, I need water. Be right back. I need to refill my water. Okay, the ad, sh ad should be done. I just kind of waited for the ad to finish. So, uh, like I said, that was at launch. The whole, you either have to swap to the Japanese version or fold or compare with someone else who already had it. As of now, Legacy Collection got patched. So you don't need to swap to the Japanese version at all. You can still play the English version and get Django 3. So that's not an issue. However, there is a soft lock in this version. So Proto Man, uh, you know, there's his normal form, there's his SP form, and his F F FZ form. To get him to upgrade... Miss everything I said? Okay. Well, anyway, I'll repeat. Django 3 has been patched as of now. You can play the English version and still get Django 3. So that's not an issue. The other soft block involves Proto Man. And it's because to get to Graveyard 2, you need every Mega Chip. Rich, to get every Mega Chip, it requires getting Proto Man, EX, and SP. Which, in this game, Mega Chips are only Navi Chips. Okay? It's only Navi Chips. So, uh, to, when you have access to Proto Man after being the game, he's just his regular form. Normally when you beat a Navi, they upgrade to their next level, right? Proto Man doesn't work that way. To get Proto Man to upgrade to the SP form, you have to do a bunch of the Request BBS missions. Specifically, you need to beat 25 missions. But when you... The base game itself has, I think, about that much. That's not hard. That's not the annoying part. So, to get Proto Man to upgrade, you have to do the Request BBS. That's one thing, right? But what the game doesn't tell you is that in this version... You have to do the e-reader, the e-reader ones, right? You have to do these two. What the game doesn't tell you is that to get Proto Man to get to Proto Man SP, it says you need to defeat 
finish 25 of these things? Isn't e-reader Japan only originally? The e-reader is in America. The Battle Network e-reader cards are specifically in Japan. So these were just taken out altogether in the original English version. So the, this is new content for America anyway. All of this is new content. And these patch cards gatekeep a lot of useful stuff. I don't remember if they add them in uh, how these got in there anyway. So in the GBA version. Anyway, to get to Graveyard 2, you need every Mega Chip. To get every Mega Chip, you need to power up Proto Man to SP. Pro to get Proto Man to SP, you need to finish 25 request VBSs. What the game doesn't tell you is it's not any 25 out of the 35 request BBSs, it's 25 specific BBSs. Meaning, like, this one, Soul Battler, doesn't count towards it. It doesn't count to getting the SP variant. To get Proto Man FZ, you need to do every single program, uh, every single BBS, so you need to do all this anyway. However, this is the one. This one right here. And this is the trap, because I didn't read this or I forgot to read it. This mission requires you to show the, the guy po the Poison Pharaoh program advance. To use the Poison Pharaoh program advance, you need two Poison Seeds and Anubis. Poison Seed, you need Bug Frags for the Bug Frag Trader. And then you just need to buy another one from the Chip Trader from Astroland. That's one thing. To get Anubis, you get it in a purple mystery data in Graveyard 2. Do you see the problem here? To get Anubis, you need to get to Graveyard 2. But to get to Graveyard 2, you need to have every Mega Chip. But if you accepted this, remember, you can only accept one. Uh, BBS at a time, and you can't cancel. So I accepted this request not knowing, not really realizing this, and then the last thing I needed to do was get to fight Proto Man, realizing I cannot get to Graveyard 2 because I have this request set up. <laughs> it was a catch-22. So, here's the thing. You either need to do one of two things. That's why this is like a soft lock, lock quote unquote. You either need to make sure to never accept this request until you get every mega chip, or if you do soft lock yourself like I did, go to these item card list and go to Proto Man here. He gives you Proto Man, Proto Man EX, and Proto Man SP. He gives you all three. You do this, you have those mega chips. Now you can get to Graveyard 2 and complete the side quest. That's why I say it's a soft lock. So you don't need to actually folder compare to get out of it. That's the good part. That's something. I'll I'll take it. But it's weird that there is another soft. There's two soft. There, at least at one point there were two soft locks for Battle Network Six. So yeah, if you play Battle Network 6 and you're 100%ing, uh, be careful about accepting what side quests. It's worse when the game doesn't tell you which of these network games have a bad habit of doing. I know, right? But here's the thing. This specifically warns you to do this later. I just didn't read that. So... I blame myself, but here's another thing I was doing. When I was doing these uh, 10, I was going in order of star ranking, right? I was doing the specific rankings and stars. This is a level 2 star, and this was the last of level 2 stars. But because of that, I think that became the problem. I think if you went in order from going from bottom to top, I think it would actually 
it wouldn't matter. If you went in that order, you would you wouldn't fall into that trap. I'm not 100 percent sure, don't quote me on that. So maybe you can accept everything, but just go from bottom to top sort of thing. Not sure though. Right now, I'm looking for a chip that's in a green mystery data in this area. I just don't know if it's in battle or if it's just the normal uh, green mystery data. It is. But yeah, it's weird. But at least there's a way out of it. At least there's a way out. But yeah, the, the patch card... The, the 10 side quests from the patch cards... They get gatekept a lot of useful stuff. It's weird. Like, hold on. I'm gonna make it easier on myself and look at the rewards. Uh, side quest, BBS, there it is. Okay. I'm gonna look at the specific rewards for the patch cards. And there's ten of them. So, uh... One of the rewards is Folder Pack 1, a Navicus program. Folder Pack 1... Let me see. Uh, where is it? Body, no, not Body Pack. Folder Pack 1. It combines Custom 1 and Mega Folder 1. Another one is a... It gives you a lotto number for Rush... Another reward is 5,000 Zenny. That one is not bad. You could do that very early on, as soon as you get to green area. So that one's not bad. Another one is Fast Gauge Star, and that's the only way to get it. Uh, Custom 2. Mega Folder 2. There's a... There's one for another lotto number, specifically to get... Beat. Uh, there's one for area grab star, anti navy star, and anti recovery star. That's the only way to get anti navy star, which is required for a program advance. Uh, there, Tango right here is also from a lotto number from one of the rewards, and the last, the last set of rewards. Here, let me show you. In the Mega Chips, every Navi, ha every version one of the Navis has a star form. Here's Count, here's Colonel Star, here's Element Man Star, so on and so forth. All of them are from Lotto numbers, right? Except for Element Man, Judge Man and Circus Man. All three of those are from a reward from one of the patch cards. I don't know why. I do not know why those three are only in that one patch card. You cannot get it from lotto number. But if all the other lotto numbers, that's how you get them. It's weird. The fact that the these side quests block you out of useful stuff. Freaking area grab star? Fast gauge star? Those are useful. And yet this game just decide to amiibo it to you. Screw it in replacement? Maybe. I, I wonder if you actually chip trade them, you're out of it. You might be out completely. Who knows? But yeah, that's the only way to get area grab star. Which we haven't had an area grab star in, year, in a long time. Also, there's something else I should point out. Not through side quests, but also through patch cards. Uh, where is it? Uh, where is it? 
to say. Bug fix. Okay. So, there are three bug fixes and a star code. This bug fix P is from a purple mystery data. One of them is from chip order and the other one's in chip trailer, right? To get the star code... It's right here. This patch card. That's the only way to get the star code for bug fix. Like, I don't fully... Like, you can start the game with roll three if you wanted to. And I need to double check, but this might be the only way to get this HP by 500 Navi customizer part. This might be the only way to get this attack max. Some extra bug fragments. Okay, those don't look like they're locking me out. 30 bug fragments. I used these. These are the Navi chips from Gregar. I, I say go ahead and get these five. If you're playing Gregar, get these five. No harm. I'm a, I have no issue with that. Yeah, see, he gives you a lot of zenny. Uh, there's a free number ball right there, so you don't have to buy it. This might be the only way to get Folder Pack 2. Yeah. It's weird how some of the chips, or, like, some code, some Navicus, is locked behind patch cards. Which, if you were playing Battle Network 6 in Japan back in 2005, you needed to get the real e-reader cards, right? It's basically Amiibo before Amiibo. Um, okay, I feel like something, something's wrong. Uh, let me check something. PCDC area. No, not rare viruses. No, that's okay. That's not what I want. Uh, I want. Mystery data? Just mystery data? No, battle green mystery data. I need to know what I'm looking for. Internet, immortal, graveyard, central robots, seaside aquarium. Sky area, Mr. Weather, and ACDC, they have the same numbers. They have the same in battle ones. Interesting. Okay, it's not in battle. That's a good sign. So, what about just normal mystery data? Let me look here. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. ACDC, where are you? Here we go. Oh, no, that's on page. That's not what I need. I need ACDC. Just regular ACDC. It sounds like it's just the normal green mystery data, though, so I might be a little bit lucky. Yeah, I know. It, it just feels weird. But again, like, the whole e-reader in concept just sounds like Amiibo before Amiibo. Basically a way to do DLC, you know, before we had the whole digital download stuff. But, like, unlike, unlike DLC, if someone else had the card, you could just borrow the card very quick. So, and then unlock it for both games if you wanted to. You only need one card to actually activate the, uh, the like the side quest or the or whatever you're trying to get, right? You only need the one card, and if you have both games, it will work on both. You just need to scan it. So it's like it's weird. It's a weird thing. And also, one thing I should point out, after doing these uh, side quest ones, the 10 side quests that you download, all of them are really easy. All of them are super easy. Like, they don't take much to do. So, they're not that difficult. They don't take that long. But they tend to give you good rewards. Like, really good rewards. Trap. 
I'm trying to find co uh, magic coil. And I'm reading it's in a green mystery data in ACDC area. But it doesn't specify using untrap. But yeah. Made it to Graveyard 2 at the beginning of stream today, only to be blocked off by another door that says get every standard chip. So what else is new? So that's what I've basically been working on more or less. There it is. There it is. Magic coil. Draw an enemy with magnetic force. Okay. Magnet coil. That's the word. Not magic coil. Alright. So, ten more standard chips. Graveyard one. Bug Fragments, or Golden Mystery Data, if I'm lucky, I'm not, though. This one was... Let me double check. Let me double check everything. 104. No 4. This one was Number Ball, which I need to buy. This one is in Graveyard 2. Graveyard 2. Graveyard 2. Okay, 139 through 141 is what I need to definitely do. These are the boil the kettle enemies. Which for these, I need to go to Underground 2, Graveyard 1, and then the Vending Machine, which we can do on the way. We'll probably go for this one first. We'll probably go to Underground 2. Graveyard 2. Okay. So other than Number Ball, which I need to buy, and like the couple, most of them are in Graveyard. Most of them are in Graveyard, that's kind of what I'm I have one Untrap, which I want to use again. I have a Lock Enemy I can use. Alright, do I currently have... Yes, I have Collect. Alright, let's take a trip to Underground. Let's go ahead and take a trip to Underground. Besides, I want to try out the... Try to get Untrapped going again. Now well, let's just set up Untrap right now. Because I wanted to see what chips I get. But yeah, I find the whole patch card situation just to be weird. Like, it's one thing to lock, like, base cross form behind it. Like, and that's like the most egregious I could see a patch card for. Because that could be, like, a multiplayer thing, I don't know. But that's also like the whole, almost a pay-to-win aspect right there. I don't know. This is just so weird. gave me a code that I needed. I just did it anyway. Got another attack plus 10, that's something. One thing I wanted to look up was gold mystery data. I think I'll look into that later. 
I was reading something about Gold Mystery Data, how it's like every, every time you jump into the net, I think any green mystery data could now be a gold, but even then that's not a uh, guaranteed thing. I kind of want to look at the rewards, but I just want to... Speaking of gold mystery data... Speaking of gold mystery data... Element Man SP. Okay. Uh, no, because as soon as you log into the net, one random green mystery data somewhere on the net can be gold. So it's not like I could just... You know, it's not like I could save right here and change it. There's some extra zenny, so untrap didn't work. I still want to see what might be here. Because apparently, one, so one of the chips I need is Neo Var Sword. And right now, for me to get it, is I need 80 bug fragments. And use the bug frag trader. And I currently have 41. The other option is, if I am lucky, the gold mystery data appearing in Undernet 2. And that can have Neovar Sword. green here somewhere. Also, I need to hang out here for the kettle enemy anyway. There's little boiler one. So. Let me take a... Take a look. Vending machine, which is next to Undernet 2, Graveyard 1. Alright. 2000 Zenny. Alright, let's just... Let's just leave. We need to get to Graveyard. We need to get to Graveyard before Colonel decides he wants to fight me. Or the Count. But I'm not going to Immortal Area. But yeah, you asked about the whole English GBA cutting out stuff. I don't think it's for space reasons. I think it, it was more about they were cutting out the, the crossover content with Boktai. And I think it's because Boktai just wasn't selling well over here in America. So they just figured why do the... Why have the crossover content if... We're not even going to bring the third game over. Because that was part of it. They didn't even bring the third game for Boktai over here. So, they cut out Immortal Area, which is right after Underground 2. So, yeah. They cut out Immortal Area altogether. Because that whole thing was just for the fight with the Count. Both made by Capcom? No, uh... It was, uh, Boktai's Konami. And it was a Hideo Kojima thing. If Boktai was made by Capcom, I think this would be a different conversation, maybe. Even if we wouldn't have gotten the third game. But no, it's Konami. A Hideo Kojima thing. So... Yeah, I think that's part of the, the main reason. But, not only did they cut... They cut out Immortal Area. They cut out Graveyard 1 for some reason. I don't know why they cut out Graveyard 1, but they did. So, we only have Graveyard 2, but in English GBA, it's just known as Graveyard. So, 
I don't know why. But yeah. And then they also cut out under net area 3. That was also another area they cut. In English GBA, I don't have a reason why they cut out under net 3 other than under net 3 sucks and I hate it and I'm glad they cut it out. <laughs> We'll see. <sighs> yeah. Does losing graveyard under net hurt us? Under net three, no. Graveyard one, yes. That's again. Well, I'm heading to the new machine anyway. Never mind. Hold on. I'm gonna wait for the ad stand. I haven't found this enemy yet. <clears throat> Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw some bombs. Throw some bombs. Got a little bit of time. Uh, 50 seconds. Let's see. Check my phone just in case. Anything. Messages? No? Okay. Well, we're good on this end. <clears throat> 30 seconds. I think I'll go Tomahawk at the very least. And I'll probably set this up like that. 20 seconds. Ten, nine, eight. Five, four. All right. Ad should have ended. At least I think it's. At least I think so. Along the way, I found this rare enemy. Can't skip that now, can I? And a rare enemy that I haven't. I should specify. So yeah, I figured I'd wait. Uh, dang it. Come on. Well, I got rid of one. There we go. And for killing the rare enemy, I got the Dark Mech Virus for Virus Bot. Battler minigame, which I don't need anymore, but hey, this is where it's at. Well, let me grab that green. Bug fragment? Okay, that's something. Vending machine. Supposedly, one of the kettle kettles is here. So we'll hang out here for a minute. Nope, not this fight. I think I'm only missing, like, two viruses now that I'm thinking about it. Battle card. Um... Yeah, missing that one. That might be the fan. No, I'm missing three. One's the fan. No, I'm missing four. One's the fan. This one is the shadow guy with the sword. I don't know. I don't remember what the other two are. I would have to look it up. Oh, one's the dragon. One's Earth Dragon. And, actually, yeah, I think the kettle is the other one, now that you mention it. <laughs> I guess I'll throw in Tomahawk. I will go ahead and... We'll double beast. the right ship. Try again. But yeah, Double Beast was also one of the uh, download cards from the e-reader. As well as... As well as a Giga Chip. The Falzar Giga Chip. 
And if you're playing G uh, Gregar, you would have the Gregar Giga Chip. Granted, the whole, like, them throwing in extra Mega Chips and Giga Chips is nothing new. They've done that, you know. <laughs> They've done that for ever since day one, honestly, with the base chip. So. It actually, it might have been an advantage. Whatever. Little Boy over the three. There we go. Got that. Off to graveyard. I don't need to go down there. Hey, look, rare mech. I don't need to fight you again. By the way, if you don't know how the rare enemies work for Virus Battler, one, you need to have the battle card, which you need to talk to the right guy. Second of all, once you are able to get the viruses, you have to beat 16 of that virus type for the first rare enemy to even show up. But the rare enemy is in very specific areas. Take this as an example. This is the only way to get the rare dark mech in Undernet 2. But for it to even pop up in the first place, I had to defeat 16 dark mechs just all together. But there's no way to actually know that. But yeah, Undernet 3. This was cut. I'm glad it was cut because this whole place is all about hidden platforms. Uh, invisible pathways. Yeah, invisible pathways. I hate this place. I'm glad this was cut. This place sucks. Granted, I think what the English version did was, in some cases, like the shop in Graveyard 1, uh, I think whenever there was a case where there was, like, important items in a cut area, they made a new shop in, I think, Graveyard, where you could buy some of the missing chips that would have been cut out. So, I, technically we didn't lose anything because of it, or lose much anyway, but I hate, I hate this place. I really do, this place sucks. This place is so confusing. You know what, I'm gonna do this fight. Uh, I want Tomahawk. Do this. I want the green. Oh well. Hey, look, four bug fragments. That was worth it. But yeah, uh, another thing that was cut out about the English versions, I don't know why, in every area there's an information board. And it has a map of the area. For every internet area. I do not know why they were cut. Originally. Honestly, if I were to guess, it was a spacing, a, a, a space issue. But I don't know if that was actually the case. But that that would be the only reason I could think of of why you would cut out the maps. This way. Nope, I'm good here. See, this place sucks. I hate this place. Graveyard 1. And again, Graveyard 1 was specifically cut. For what reason? I don't know. I don't know why this one was cut. Maybe this one was cut for space issues. Do I need this fight? Mm, no, I'm good. This, like how the fifth one had that version? Oh, yeah, how, uh... Double, uh, Battle Network 5 Double Team. Yeah, they didn't make a... They didn't make one for for this, did they? For 6. How come, how come do you think 5 was the only one that got that treatment? Makes, makes you wonder, right? Why 5 was the only one to get that treatment. I can understand why 4 might not have. Only because they didn't think about it until 5. 
But I wonder why six didn't get the treatment. Yeah, this shop is here. And by the way, this is how you're supposed to get one of your Giga Chips. But if you notice, I can buy another one. I don't know why. I don't know why the game lets me buy another one. Unless it was supposed to throw it in a different folder. But that's like the only thing I could think of. so many enhancements. That is true. It actually let you swap out the navvies for the other version in the Liberation Missions. Uh, it had the voice lines in there. Uh, it had the special move tag system thing. I feel like I'm missing stuff, but... Maybe they just couldn't think of what to add in for a DS version of 6. You know what it is realistically, though? It's- it was pro- they probably just didn't do it because of time constraints. It might have just been as simple as time constraints. Because remember, this era of Mega Man, like, they just produced way too many games. They just produced way too many games at the same time that no one could keep up. Because at this era, we were getting Battle Network. We were getting... I think we got some Mega Man X. We got the Zero and ZX stuff. Plus any spinoffs. Uh, yeah, plus spinoffs like Command Mission and... Challenge. So they might have started Star Force already. Maybe the reason why we didn't get six DS was because of just they made they were working on too many other things, and it was just taking up so much of their time. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of weird how the collections just don't add certain games that they easily can. Like, why don't they add Battle Chip Challenge or Battle Network 4.5 or Operation Shooting Star or uh, Network Transmission? Oh, the Shrub Enemy is here in Area 2. Well, that's lucky. Let's hope I get it. 50-50 shot. Do I get it? Never mind. I missed. Alright. Uh, that was weird. I guess we'll go this route. If I just waited like a frame. Would have gotten a double delete. the dragon I'm looking for. I guess we'll go double beast, I guess. Ooh, those two are overlapping. Sandworm. 
There we go, double delete. Wood dragon, there we go. Seven more. Might have to call it soon, but... I still need Neovari anyway, so I would have to do... Bug frag grinding. But we'll see what viruses I can find here. Yeah, this door is the get every S chip. Every standard chip. Okay, here's another one. Uh, let's actually go ground man this time. I don't really go ground man. Wait, now that I'm looking at that tomahawk, I can at least get rid of two. And we'll set up anti-damage. Anti-damage. Oh, you... Mm. Fine. Now we'll go ground. Get our lucky. Wrong chip. Wrong chip. Although, let me check something. I think I have, like, one of each code. Whiskey Honey. 35. 20. Hmm. I don't know if I want to throw in Risky Honey 3. Not because it's more... Not, you know, it's more powerful, but... Honestly, having the R codes so far meshes well with my folder better. I need to go for this. I need to go for this. Trying to get uh, a different code for the popcorn. Mode. Let's see. Not the one I'm looking for. It's fine. What can I find? Here's one that I need. Let's go. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go Tengu. I'm gonna use Air Spin. I might as well throw this in. Oh no, I can't see. There we go, we got silence. Six more to go. But yeah, I, it makes me wonder if they're ever gonna do like a Mega Man spin-off collection, you know? It makes you wonder, because they could easily do another set of collections just for, like, spin-off and side games. Granted, we still need a Star Force, and we still need a, a Legends one. So, let's be honest, the next one we're probably going to get is Star Force. And if they ever do a Legends one, they're probably just going to have to throw in Tron Bomb, because that series is only two games. So, if you don't have Tron Bomb... <clears throat> But yeah, like, other than those two collections, Legends and Star Force, they could easily do one. Wait, 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 wait. They could, so they could easily do one where... Actually, this time I want to go off one. Where they could easily do one for just spin-offs and side games. Because, you know, the, you have, like, all the Game Boy versions of, like, Classic and X. You have code, Command Mission, let alone all the Balmer stuff. Come on. There's, like, two chips. There's one. Golden Hit 3. That's one of them. Four more. Four more. Again, one of the 
Jacob's Neo Bar. Again, I'm going for another code, so we'll go this. Actually, we'll, we'll do this. need like an S ring for that. I'm trying to get another R code for that. Okay, well. Tomahawk. Let's try this. There's that, come on. Popcorn, big thing. Again, I need something stronger. I need a better starting set. Probably just Flame Hook. Just start with Flame Hook. That's probably the way. Uh, this fight. I need the candle. I need the candle from here. I need. Let me look. I'm missing four. Neovar, Number Ball, Candle, oh, and this is Area 1, yeah, okay. Okay, I'm looking for the candle again. I may lock enemy it. This will work. Um, Tengu? And we'll throw in Air Spinner? Sure, we'll try that. I don't... I don't know if Double Beast would work. Double Delete, that worked out. Come on, Sensor. You know what? I am lock enemy that. I'm using my lock enemy. That was a 50-50 shot. Uh, Sadly, fire hit's not gonna help me. Okay, luckily I didn't need to power it up. There it is. Burn square three. All right. We used up that lock enemy, sadly. All right. I need to hang out here and find the pedal. All right. Uh, underground. Yeah, graveyard one. It's a two percent though. Hmm, maybe I should come back with a lock enemy. Let me think. I need three more, but we basically need to do bug frag grinding and money grinding. I should check how much Zenny I have. No, we don't need this fight. I, mm, I just saw, I could have done, I think I could have set up Bodyguard. Uh, I could have set up Bodyguard. Right now. You know what? 
I'm gonna give it three more counters. And then what I think I'll do is I'll leave. I'll buy num buy a lock enemy, buy number ball. I think I can do both. If not just the lock enemy. Then I might call it. I know I still need a lot of bug fragments, so I'll have to do. Because I'm thinking I'll probably do some of the bug frag grind grinding on my own time. So I might do some of that off, off stream here to work on getting Neovar. Because I still need Bug Death Thunder anyway. Yeah, I'm not finding anything. And this kettle is a 2% shot. Alright. One lock enemy. If I am correct, I cannot get... No, I can get number ball. Oh, just enough. Pretty much. Alright. Here, I'm gonna save right here. So now I need two chips. Neovar, which requires 80 bug fragments. And Kettle 2, which is a 2%. Since I still need a lot of bug fragments, and let's be honest, I'm probably going to need a lot of money anyway because program advances. Here's what I'm thinking of doing. I'm going to call it now. Off stream, I'll probably do a set of bug frag grinding slash money grinding. And... Just to point out, Graveyard 1 is where to do it. There's a fight where it's uh, two Sensor 2 enemies with the green mystery data in the middle. Just one Boomerang 3 on the shortcuts takes care of it right away. And just walk into that enemy formation. It's very easy. Very easy. And you have a chance of getting five bug fragments out of it. So my plan is on my own time, if I decide to, I probably will though, I'll do one set of bug frag grinding slash money. And then that will either get me close, or that will either get me, or that will get me enough bug fragments for next stream. And then we'll get the final, the final chip in graveyard next stream tomorrow anyway. So yeah, and then we get to explore the rest of graveyard too. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the about page. Anyway, yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to do one set of bug frag grinding on my own time. And we should be able to explore the rest of Graveyard 2 tomorrow. Have a good day.